Well, coronavirus is not the only thing dragging on stocks. Uh, health insurers in particular, but also a hospital and some drug names, all trading much lower following Bernie Sanders' convincing win in Nevada. Uh, what the money plays say uh, is, is going on here. I, I want to bring in uh, Bonson Group CIO David Bonson because, uh, David, I, from what I understand, you don't think uh, the, the, the big Bernie win in Nevada is actually having uh, any impact on, on that sector. I don't, uh, Charles, I, and I, I hate disagreeing with you, so maybe we'll get to a place where we're on the same page as you and I usually are. But in this case, I first of all believe that there's an inverse relationship between Trump's likelihood of getting reelected and Bernie Sanders' likelihood of winning the Democratic nomination. I think it helps President Trump, which the market would like to see reelected. I don't believe that President Trump has a 100 percent chance of winning with uh, Bernie Sanders as his uh, opponent. But I believe he has a better chance of winning than some of the others in the race. But when you look at market action today, um, look, Merck is barely down on the day. Gilead is up quite a bit. A lot of the drug, Amgen is down much less than the market. The drug sector, some of the healthcare stocks are not down as much as the overall market. I really think that this is a coronavirus panic much more than a Bernie Sanders story. Well, the coronavirus is why Gilead is up. But I mean the health insurers no. themselves, because he's talking about wiping out that entire industry. And I think Elizabeth Warren is as well. Molina was down eight at one point, United Health down six, Anthem down five, Humana down five. I mean, they're all down a lot more than a broad market. And, and that's what I'm saying. That specific area sort of acknowledges, in my mind, that Bernie's going to be the nominee. And, you know, sometimes a better part of valor is to just react to things like that, not necessarily overall market, which I agree. I, you know, I, I think it's, there's no doubt that the overall market would like to see President Trump reelected. I, I understand what you're saying, but I think that those managed care stocks also have a coronavirus reason for being down more than the market today. If the market's down three to three and a half and they're down four to five, that isn't that much additional downside, uh, whereas Bernie Sanders would represent an existential threat. But I don't think the market believes that the Senate is going to flip, let alone 60 votes in the Senate, and allow Bernie Sanders the sort of insanity of his Medicare for all agenda. So my own view is that the more likely explanation, you never know exactly what a given market actor is doing. You and I sure, both know sure. that. But I, I think the preponderance of market movement is a fear trade in responding to the uncertainty of coronavirus. David, I got to go, Bernie but real Sanders, quick... You your thoughts on the fair trade, how long it lasts? Um, if I know the answer to that, I would be sharing it with you privately, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> no, right. I don't know. Let I don't know. But the only That's thing, only the second thing no you could do. No one else knows either. <laughs> okay. yeah. Thanks a but lot. I really Preach. do want to say to our, I do want to say no one else knows either, Charles. That's the important part. All right. But I think everyone kind of agrees that at some point, uh, the fundamentals probably return to drive the market. Uh, David yes, Bonson, sir. thank you very much, friend.